Kieran McGuire here with Boxing Bands Ireland and uh, glad to be back speaking with uh, Robbie Burke. Um, Robbie, it's been a while since I chatted to you. It's probably actually COVID since I actually spoke to you. I know you fought Jamie since then, but it's actually been a while. Um, you won tonight, 38 37, a really tough fight. You got a bad cut in the fight. But for you, it must be like massive relief for you now. Like. Yeah, no, it's great. It's great to be back. It's great to be back loving the sport again as well. Really feeling good. Everything went well in camp. Like things in the ring there got my head, but very early in the fight that like that changed a bit of the fight, changed the tactics, but we just had to go with what way whatever way the fight went then, you know that way? Yeah. To and just done what we had to do to get the win. Uh, what's it been like for you coming back to boxing now, like um for this fight like were you nervous or yeah, like I was nervous, but in a way, it's the best I felt coming back. To be honest, I was only coming back if it was gonna be just a hundred percent. Caroline, like now, I'm not saying I didn't put a hundred percent into other camps or anything, but I wasn't a hundred percent upstairs. You know that way. There was things going on in the background that just could have took the focus off. Too much work and trying to walk world boxing, not having enough rest time. There was a lot of things going on and I just took all them away for this camp and everything went smooth. Mm-hmm. You know? Uh, you were here three weeks ago at the last J Barn show and I was talking to you for a little bit and you know you were kinda of saying how after the fight in America you're kinda of disillusioned with the sport and you've had a breakout and all that. For you coming back now, like what, what do you want to get out of out of it? This is like as you said to me, this is your last go at it. Like what, what do you want out of it? Look, this is my last go at it, so look, I'm, I like to be honest, I'll be out for down a five K tomorrow. I'm gonna ask the doctor now it's all right to be running. I'm back on I'll be back training on Monday. I can't spar for a few weeks, that's grand. I'll, I'm back healthy on Monday. Everything, nothing changes where you know, I'm at the being in camp. I'm in camp now until I retire. And that's that. You know what I mean? It's just, it's all on nothing now. And I just I said that from the start. If I was going to come back and give it all, I am. And that's what I'm doing now. So, look, we're going to take it. Foy after foy. What if I get in the wind there? Happy with the win, happy with how we ha- we dealt with things after getting the clash of heads and that. Mm. And we're just going to look at the drawing board and see what we have to improve on. There is a few things that we do have to improve on, but we will improve on them and go again. You must be happy in a way that, like, when someone has a comeback like you have, you think, right, I'm going to have four rounds, I'm going to have a handy four rounder. But for you, it was the opposite. It was It was tough. Like your cut was really bad. Like I can see, it's cut in two places. Do you know what I mean? And there was a lot of blood. So you had to come through a lot in that because you know someone could have stopped it. But I imagine it was really impairing your impairing your vision and everything. So to come through that and and come out with the win, like for you, it must be kind of a nice feeling to be like you know I still have a lot in the tank here. Like, you know? Look, do you know what? I had to reset. I had to come back. I had to actually. Like it just then too to having the cook. I couldn't see out of one eye for the full round. You know that way out of the left eye. So I just sat on the back foot and moved around. I tried to just box off the jab and like I done well. Like by the only thank God. Like yeah, you know. And then let's just look. Listen to me corner and we went from there. You know what I mean? So obviously you you were Jay Barn now for your last stint. Has he outlined what he wants for your next? What what do you want to do? Like. Yeah, look, we're taking it for you after for you. Like, I don't know what way I'm going to be now for April with the stitches, but we were planning March, April and May. So I might have to move on straight to May. But look, if I can fight in April, I'll be fine in April. I just don't know what he said. One of the doctors said three weeks could be sp- until I can spar again. The other one said six. So look, I just have to wait and see what my doctor says when I get the stitches out in a week's in a week's time you know right well Robbie it's lovely to talk to you again Um, it's nice to to talk to you after a win you know so yeah happy for you really happy for you and uh, I hope to be I hope to speak to you soon thanks very much really appreciate it thank you